guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done filming a get ready with me and I wanted to include all of the products that I just showed in my recent haul. I went shopping at Sephora and I picked out a couple new things. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it right here and also down below. But today I'm gonna put all those products to the test, show you guys what they look like on, how they apply. A lot of them are first impressions. I'm testing out the Josie Marin new foundation, the new Cover FX highlighter drops, a lot of new things in here. So keep on watching if you want to see. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'll leave a little red button right here that you can click and it will subscribe you to my channel. I make new videos every week. Starting out with bare skin, I'm testing out a new foundation today from Josie Marin. I recently got a sample of this. It's the Vibrancy Foundation. I got it in the shade Adventurous. It's supposed to be a very medium to full coverage foundation with a dewy look and it has the argan oil in there, so it's supposed to be really good for your skin. I'm going to just apply it with a damp beauty blender. All right, so here is one layer so far. Definitely looks like a medium coverage. I'm going to go ahead and apply one more light layer right here just to see if I can build it up to more of a fuller coverage. Okay, so everything is blended in. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's extremely dewy. Definitely, I will need to set with some powder, but I'm gonna do some concealer first. So far, so good though. I love the glow that it gives. I love how it's a medium coverage, but it still looks pretty natural. So for concealer, I'm gonna try out the Tarte Shape Tape. I have light, medium, and medium. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with light, medium just to brighten up under the eyes a little bit. I love the applicator on this. Smells good. That Josie Marin foundation had a nice smell to it too, that kind of perfumey. And this concealer is gonna be good for highlighting too, they said, so I'm gonna do a little bit kind of in my highlight areas as well. And I'm also gonna blend this in with Beauty Blender. All right, concealer is on, I love it. I think this is a good combo. So the matte of the concealer and then the dewiness of the foundation, once you put it together, it kind of gives you that perfect natural look. Cause I don't like to look too dewy under my eyes cause then it can look kind of creasy and just like oily instead of like a dewy look. So I think this is really pretty, loving it so far. Great coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and set with a little bit of my RCMA no color powder and I will be right back. On the other areas, I wanna keep that dewy look. So I've been testing out this NARS Translucent Crystal in the pressed form. I've had it in the past in the loose and I liked it, but I wanted to try the press just cause it's easier for travel and stuff. So a lot of you guys actually recommended in my haul, I said it was kind of like hard to pick up product. So you recommended that I kind of like flake off that top like overlay spray and I did that. So I think it's working a little bit better now, but we're gonna test it out again. So I'm using my Sigma F25 and I kind of just like, I don't know, smush it in there and then press it. And I'm just gonna do a little, little bit, just so that our like bronzer and blush blends and everything. Okay, next I'm gonna test out the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops that everyone is raving about. I got them in the shade Sunlight, which is a really pretty kind of like rose gold, light bronzy color. So I wanna try mixing them in with foundation, but I wanted to test out that Josie Marin foundation for you guys today. So I'm gonna just try using these as a highlighter on its own today. So let's see, I think I'm gonna do a couple drops like on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna use my Sigma Duo Fiber F15 and just kind of like place it around. So let's see here. It's so metallic, so I just feel like I wanna be kind of like sparing with it. I love highlighter on my forehead, so I'm gonna start there. And then I feel like once we put the bronzer everywhere else, it's gonna look so pretty. I think this looks really good. It kind of brings back the dewiness of the foundation, but this is like already completely dry. Like this is not wet or tacky. So that's what I really like so far. Do a little bit on the nose. I 
I wanted to figure out a way to use these that will give you more of a natural look. So I think this might work. It's such a pretty color for summer too. It kind of gives you that like suntan look. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do a couple more drops for my cheeks. But I feel like it's good if you just do one area at a time and blend it in. That way, usually with liquid highlighters, they can tend to like get patchy if you don't blend it in like immediately. So I'm kind of almost like blending it in a little bit on my hand before I even go on my face. Just immediately start blending. I like to get a little bit on my brow bone, top and bottom. Okay, but I'm really liking these. I think they look very, very natural and really glowy really pairs well with that foundation. Okay, loving these so far, my favorite. Okay, now for, we wanna bring some color back into our skin. So I'm gonna use the Beach Stick from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been testing this out, it's awesome. So I have it in the shade Ibiza, which is like a shimmery bronze color. So I kinda use it as a blush slash bronzer. So I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead. Just kinda like this. And then I do a little bit kind of like on my cheeks, where my contour is, it kind of like all in the same area. I feel like with summer makeup, you can kind of get away with just kind of going for it. A little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna actually use my beauty blender to blend this all in. See how easily that blends in? It just gives you a nice little subtle glow. It's not like enough for like a full on bronzer, but it's just really pretty to kind of give you a little bit of color especially on my cheeks. I'm using that leftover powder that was on this side to kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, love this combo together. I think it's so pretty. And normally I wouldn't do any more blush with this, but I've just been wanting to test out this Becca Luminous Blush in this light pink shade Camelli Camellia. So we're just gonna try it. It's supposed to be a blush that kind of blends your bronzer and your highlighter together. So I think that just sounds really pretty. So we'll test it out with this one. I'm just gonna use a little SL Miss Glam brush, just like a tiny bit. Okay, that stuff is super pigmented. So I'd save that for a day when you wanna wear a lot of blush, but that's okay for now. Okay, face is done. I'm gonna move on to brows. So all that I've been doing lately for brows is adding a little bit of this Benefit 3D Brow Tones. I raved about this in my haul also. It's kind of like a medium brown color. It kind of gives your brows some dimension, some highlight, fills them in a little bit. It's just really cool. So it's just a little mascara wand and I just run it through. I kind of like a messy brow lately. And this just adheres to hair. So if you don't have full brows, you're gonna wanna use the Gimme Brow and not this one. But if you do have full brows and you kinda just want to lightly fill them in, this will be great for you. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up with a little concealer. Blend it out a little bit. Okay, brows are done. All right, for shadow, I'm gonna use this really pretty new palette from Tarte. It's called Young, Wild, and Free. It's their Amazonian Clay new shadow palette. Also showed this in my haul. All of these products are from my haul. So I just wanna do something very simple and quick on the eyes. So I think I'm just gonna take Party, the champagne color, put it all over, and then maybe a little bit of this through my crease. Like nothing crazy. Taking Party on my E25 all over the lid and the brow bone. Then taking my Sigma E40, I'm gonna go in with Weekend, which is a medium matte brown through the crease. I'm gonna take Lucky Charm underneath my lash line. That's all I'm gonna do for eyes. Love this palette though, super quick, easy, just something simple for during the day. And I like that it has a couple more colors in there where you could bump it up for nighttime. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little liner. This is my favorite Stila liquid liner. I'm just gonna do just a little flick because we are gonna do some lashes in a second. Okay, liner and mascara is on. I've been using the NARS Audacious Mascara for like a week now. It's really good. The wand is awesome because it has like really small little bristles and it can like get in there and really separate. But I'm gonna do some lashes today. So we're testing out Kiss 
lashes in Daisy. So they look really pretty, kind of fluffy and fluttery. So I'm gonna put these on and then I'll finish up with the lips. All right, lashes are on. They were really easy to put on. I like these ones, the Kiss, I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're the Blooming Lash. They're all named after flowers. The band is like super, super thin. So they'd also be great on days where you don't wear liner, but so far I really like them. Pretty kind of fluffy and natural. Okay, so let's do lips and finish. I'm testing out the Givenchy Lip Liner in shade number 10. It's waterproof. It's kind of like a rosy pink color. Super pigmented. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Pale Pink number 21 lipstick. Kind of creates this pretty like soft ombre look. And then to finish off the whole look, I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of lip gloss from NARS in Turkish Delight. A clear pink. All right, so here is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would recommend my top picks for this whole look are the highlighter drops, so pretty and the concealer, the chart concealer. Really like that too. Those are my like top two favorites, but I'm really impressed with everything. Love how it all came out. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. You guys can follow me on Snapchat if you want like up-to-date reviews on everything, but I really, really love everything I tried. So I'll link it all down below with shade names and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if the lighting did change a little bit throughout, I'm sorry. Still trying to figure out this new room, but hopefully by the next couple of videos, it'll all be taken care of. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.